Hi, my name's Kelly. <laughs> I'm Riley. Um, I'm Shannon. <laughs> All right, and today we are going to be talking about uh, the story of Jesus being presented at the temple. So I brought a picture. This is a picture of my dad and my mom and my sister when they were young. Yeah, a long, a, a long time ago. So in this picture, Riley's a teeny tiny Hannah. baby. Hannah hadn't even been born yet. <laughs> cool. I'm Riley, do you remember? Well, <laughs> of course you don't remember because you were such a tiny baby. But when you can this see was the a very yeah. This is a this was a very special day. Your dad and I took you to church and we had you dedicated and made a very important promise to make sure. And we did the same thing for you too, Hannah, <laughs> to make sure uh, that you guys grew up and knew who Jesus were, knew, know who Jesus is, and. Um, are Jesus part of the church. The best. Jesus is the best. You're right. Good work, Hannah. I like that. Nice work. Okay, so we'll read the story of Jesus being presented at the temple. So give it a listen. Okay, so, so listen, because I might ask you some questions. You gotta be ready. All right. Jesus presented in the temple. When the time came for the purification rites required by the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations." A light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother mar marveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be spoken against, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Peniel, of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. When Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was on him. Nice. All right. So why is this, why do you think this story is important? Why do you think it's because important? Because God's in it. <laughs> it's God. important because God's in it. Good work. Well done. So why is it important that Jesus was dedicated to the temple? What did that do? Because he's special. He is special. And he's holy. And he's holy. Very good. And that is why because your special. dad and I dedicated you guys to God, too. We wanted to make sure that we um, teach you guys that God is special and loves he you very special. much. Yes. Very good. All yeah. right. So let's say let's say a prayer. Sit down, Hannon. Okay. So let's say a prayer. So we want to start with. What are some things that we're thankful for? What are I'm what are some things that we're going to thank God for? I'm thankful for, for video games. Okay. I'm thankful for a great person. Hey, Riley. Oh, great. Let's say a prayer. What are some things that you would like to um, pray about? I'm grateful for what my new VR that I got for Christmas. Okay. And I'm also grateful for my family and the dog. All right. So that's a really great thing to pray about. So, all right. Let's pray. Hold your hands. Dear God, thank you so much for such a beautiful Christmas. We love our family and are so grateful for them. Thank you for blessing uh, our family and all of the families of Highland United Methodist Church. Please watch over us as we head into a new year and keep us all safe. Amen. Good night. Good work. 